half a million dollars worth of medical supplies for Ukraine are stuck in a Valley warehouse right now. The port the group Project Cura would normally ship to is closed amid the invasion of Ukraine. Kim Powell shows us the problem. These boxes full of medical supplies and equipment was supposed to be gone out of this warehouse near 52nd Street and University in Tempe yesterday. However, because of what's unfolding in Ukraine, it's just sitting here now. They're trying to find a way to get it where it needs to be. Everything you see here is ready to go to Ukraine. It's labeled and organized, but it's stuck. Oh, it's, it's heart wrenching for us to be able to have the knowledge that what is sitting here could be saving lives there right now. Eventually, these medical supplies will go from the Tempe warehouse to a 40-foot shipping container. Ruth Sanchez with Project Cure is trying to get equipment like hospital beds, x-rays, ultrasound machines, and PPE to Ukraine. We have wheelchairs, we have um, baby warmers, and everything in the boxes that you see Ukraine. That is what you and I have readily at any facility here in the United States. Ruth adds they've been working on getting this shipment ready for two weeks, but now the port of Odessa is closed. We had been scheduled actually for two weeks, and we finally got a confirmation two days ago it's going to be here. And overnight that changed, and the freight forwarder said, you know, we're not comfortable sending that anything close to that region. Project Cure and its volunteers says watching the conflict unfold is difficult as the much needed supplies are stuck in Tempe and as they try to find a way to help. They're going to have more needs now because of all the injuries and suffering that's going on. So um, the sooner we can hopefully get this container out, the better. Right now, Project Here is working on a way to try to get these supplies to Ukraine, perhaps through a bordering country like Poland or Germany. Reporting in Tempe, I'm Kim Powell for Arizona's Family.